Hey, and we did have a cold front that moved through a little bit earlier today, and that brought in some cooler temperatures. Of course, yesterday we hit 90 degrees. Today, temperatures were up into the 80s before the front moved through, and it did produce a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms down across areas of North Carolina. But that front continues to sag southward. Some of this is some ground clutter around the radar site, and we are looking at a little bit of patchy fog out there in some of the inland spots. Visibility not too bad, but I wouldn't be surprised if some of the inland locations in the areas that picked up some rain today see a little bit of patchy fog as we go into the morning hours. Take a look at the satellite and radar. You can see those clouds working their way southward, then the sun sets, and we lose sort of those low clouds out there, but we are looking at mostly cloudy skies through the rest of the night and that northeast wind could also bring in a little bit of mist or drizzle around in a few spots. And we're looking at that as we go into tomorrow morning. Cloudy skies starting the day with temperatures in the 60s to around 70 degrees. I think we'll see the cloudy skies and maybe even a shower or two in a few spots as we start the day into the afternoon. The clouds will break up a little bit. We'll see a few peaks of sunshine, but it's really after sunset that we really start to see those clouds dissipate. Partly cloudy skies into the evening and temperatures tomorrow in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Winds continue out of the east, but they become a little more southeasterly as we get into the day on Sunday, so that'll warm things up a little bit more, calling for partly sunny skies, and notice those afternoon temperatures up into the low to mid 80s, just an outside chance at an isolated shower or two. Right now, we also are tracking the tropics because we still have Tropical Storm Leslie that is working its way off into the North Atlantic, but it's this cluster of thunderstorms off the coast of Honduras that we'll be watching over the next few days. About an 80% chance that we could see some tropical depression development somewhere here across the Western Caribbean or into the Gulf of Mexico as so we get late into the weekend or early next week. And all the computer models fairly consistent about bringing something up towards the Gulf Coast of Florida along the Panhandle, something we'll have to watch over the next several days. That would be about Wednesday, and then we could feel some of the effects with some rainfall as we get into Thursday and Friday with a front that'll pick up that system. Cloudy skies right now, a little bit of mist it looks like out there, a little bit of fog trying to develop. 74 degrees, winds out of the east-northeast at 10 miles per hour. 74 in Hertford, 71 in Newport News, 67 up at Tappahannock, 72 in Matthews, and 73 in Portsmouth. So for tonight, spotty drizzle possible, otherwise mostly cloudy skies. 70 degrees, clouds in the morning, maybe a little bit of afternoon sunshine, a high temperature of 80. And as we look ahead towards Sunday, 83 degrees with partly sunny skies. Monday, 84, Tuesday, 84. Wednesday 85, so the heat and humidity return by the middle of next week, and then that front will move in, giving us a chance at some isolated showers or storms by the end of the week. All right, so summer's still going to hold on for a yes, little while is. longer. All right, thanks, Evan.